do it, you prop. Hello, YouTubers. How you did live? All right, then. Bit of a different one for you this time. A bit shaky on a hard tail. Be all right, make it up this bit. So we are just taking the old man's uh, well, one of his trikes out for a little run. Oh, a little run. Feels to me like he put a bit more uh, pressure in the back tyres when I told him not to. So this is uh, current hill for sale. Very nice looking trike. So Reliant Robin Engine 750, tax and MOT exempt 1971, 750cc, custom Marauder tank, it's, uh, I think it's a GS900 uh, front end, hard tail try. Certainly the sort of thing you should concentrate when you're riding. It's all, all good fun. So I'm not sure how accurate the speedo is. You seem to jump up in like uh, 20 mile an hour increments. Actually on the written numbers. But it's fun to ride, and that's facing it, that's what matters on these sort of things. So current hill for sale. 3,700 on here is stopper. Until I'm used to using a uh, automatic car I drive. I'm used to using a, um, what do you call it, uh, you know, a manual bike obviously, so when it comes down to this, it seems to be a bit different on the, what do you call it, on the gears, it takes a bit of getting used to for me, but this is only probably the second time I've ridden this trike, spent most of your time in third gear if you wanted to. Trying to work out this, what we got, so 30, oh, 30 mile an hour is about there apparently. I say I don't know how, how accurate the speedo is, I would imagine it's as accurate as it's going to be on anything like this. The seat's bloody comfortable as hell. It is. But, up for sale and I thought I'd take it for a quick test drive so I thought I'd give it a go see what it feels like. Not bad at all. As far as a bone shaker hardtail trike feels. Don't sound too bad. <laughs> Sports exhaust on, on the back, Scorpion, I think. Scorpion and can. Seems strange going round the corner and not being able not being able to lean it. There you go again, that's me me not used to the gears, not uh, more than anything. But there you go. So speedo probably is about right. I went through there about 35 on the speedo and it told me to slow down so I'm one can only assume it's correct. But yes, this is a bit of an unusual one. I 
We'll stop and have a walk around in a minute, see what you think. Not everybody's cup of tea, these sort of things, but I tell you what, I mean... Apart from the shaking, which as I say, it needs, uh, needs less air in the tyres. You're only supposed to run them around about 8 to 10 psi on a hard tail. That, that way, that's what gives you your suspension, gives you a bit of bounce, rather than a judder. <laughs> Sounds quite nice actually when you uh, when you do drop it down. Oh well, he's stopped. When it comes to corners, you have to sort of remember you can't lean. You can lean, lean, it might help. <laughs> I'll tell you what, though, this seat is really, really, really comfortable. Quite surprised me actually because it gives you just the right amount of support in this sort of to your spine. Yeah, it's the first time I've ridden it really. I've literally gone round the block on it. Tiny, tiny block. That's what the thing now is re me remembering clutch <laughs> foot clutch cancel the indicator at all. You don't realise you're going as fast as you are actually. Because I don't feel like I'm hardly moving but according to that I was nearly doing 60 so yeah. Not as bad as I thought. Mind you it's got a uh, Makuni carb on it. Um I'll show you. Go and have a little look round it. Put my indicator on to pull in. Not bad turning turtle, is it? There we go. We'll park up just there. And we'll uh, stick the handbrake on. I have to remember it's got an handbrake. <laughs> so there you go. Excuse the muck, it's wet, but uh, it's alright, it's alright. I'll say what's the, uh, yeah it is Scorpion exhaust. Not bad at all, not everybody's cup of tea, understand there are a lot of haters out there about trikes. I think you've got to have ridden one or owned one. I mean, I uh, I had no choice at one time of day, but uh, this is a good looking one. The gear shift being a, basically a, a car engine and gearbox. It's only a 750cc, a little tiny car engine and gearbox, you see, so your gear shift's just there. Not bad at all. And then of course, Not a bad sounding exhaust. Tow bar. 1971 classic. 
tax exempt, MOT exempt. Not bad at all. Right, better take it home. Not sure I have took the handbrake off yet. Get out of gear for a second. Can't go too fast around a roundabout. Remember, you're on a train, not a bike. It's not bad actually, like 25. Out into here. a good run. 70 mile an hour. And I must admit it still feels like it's got plenty to go. of the flow of traffic have decided elsewise, but otherwise, but hey, hey ho. We're doing this just to dry it off a bit. <laughs> yeah, so hopefully there's not too much buffeting coming up from the windscreen, because that's a problem with all windscreens. Whenever you try, uh, try doing a vlog, you always get that that horrible bloody buffeting covers up. Makes you sound like Norman Collier, your voice is on and off. Yeah, brakes aren't too bad, it, uh, it grabs hold pretty quick. I don't know where it would be like with a passenger on, but uh, quite nice. Must admit, on something like this, it's uh, a shame sometimes that you can't get a uh, an automatic box. It's, well, you can get an automatic box, it's small, but they're, uh, I don't know, a lot of rocking horse shit. Oh, the shame. Ride a trike, no, no biker wants to nod to you. <laughs> yeah, so uh, the advert has just gone on eBay. Got a 3,700 by now. Bids from 3,000 tilts onwards. Theoretically, should sell all day long at that. Quite honestly, uh, the fact that it's taxed and test exempt is the main thing. Beautiful idea. Imagine that. You still got it. You still got to uh, tax it. You just don't pay for it. Some cruising pegs. Be nice. Although 
the uh, thing about these types of trikes, hand built trikes, is the main beauty about it over a uh, shop ball purchase thing is on these you can alter it how the hell you want. If you don't like it, you just alter it, no problem whatsoever. Cut a bit off, weld a bit on. Yeah, quite net. So I'm going to start doing is start and use this and take it up uh, uptown, park it up where I when I have a coffee. It's better that way. It gets it out of there, don't it? it gets it advertised. Anyway. That's about, about as much as I'm going to tell you on it. Any questions, feel free to ask. Meanwhile, catch you again. Bye.